Good evening, morning, and whatever time of the day might be in your corner of the world. I'm Tor Thorson. And I'm Tim Surrett, and this is The Last Word, back from a long hiatus at last. Huzzah, Excelsior, make it so. Why are you channeling Patrick Stewart? I'm not number one. I'm just filled with enthusiasm about this week's news. <coughs> <coughs> At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Microsoft Chairman and World's Richest Man Bill Gates used his annual speech to talk about the Xbox 360. Microsoft surpassed its goal of shipping 10 million 360s in 2006, no doubt thanks to the 2.7 million copies of Gears of War it sold. The console's popularity will likely grow when it gets IPTV functionality later this year. When it arrives, IPTV will allow the 360 to act like a TiVo-like digital recorder with the ability to download video from the web. The console will also be able to record video while running a game, and will even have a searchable database of movies and actors. How is my itty bitty 20 gigabyte hard drive going to be able to download that? It's full of uh, my arcade games and my downloads and themes and... I don't know, man. I mean, you might delete that Viva Pinata theme. You leave Viva Pinata out of this, mister! Okay, okay. Sorry, it's just that, you know, the thoughts of Buzzlegums gets me all excited. Oh Attention Sony supporters, this just in. I can't really believe it myself, but there's good news for Sony. All kidding aside. You were kidding. Yeah, I Sony also took the mic at CES and announced some numbers of its own. Peter Dilley, Sony's senior vice president of marketing, announced that Sony has shipped one million PlayStation 3s to North America in 2006. Upon the announcement of the news and a few other good tidings from the company and other divisions, Sony stock jumped 6%. The largest gain for the company in more than a year. That's right, give it up for Sony. Sony also said it still plans to ship 6 million PS3s worldwide by March of this year, when the system goes on sale in Europe. While all that bodes well for Kudaragi and company, it appears that Sony did miss its goal of shipping 2 million worldwide. Hey, hey, you guys stay out of this. Come on. Japanese game magazine Enterbrain says Sony only sold 466,716 PS3s in its home country. The company originally planned to ship 2 million units worldwide. And if we quickly do a little math, adding those sold in Japan to those shipped in North America, it appears that Sony fell short of its worldwide target. Unless, of course, there are 500,000 PS3s sitting on store shelves. Oh, and in case you were wondering, Enterbrain says 989,118 Wiis were sold in Japan in 2006, more than twice the number of PS3s, even though the Wii launched. Shut up! Since it wouldn't be CS without controversy, skin tight rubber dresses, and porn stars, <laughs> you're thinking of the AVN Awards, aka the Oscars of porn, which goes on at the same time as CS. Right. Well, you're, you're always thinking about that. Right. Oh. oh, well, at least CS had controversy in the form of several technical achievement Emmys handed out to game companies. No one contested the statues id Software and John Carmack took home for creating the Doom series 13 and a half years after its first debut. That said, fanboys were abuzz with Sony's Monday announcement that its controversial six-axis controller, which I have right here, had, had won an Emmy. At the actual ceremony, however, Sony received an award for peripheral development and technological impact of video game controllers. As it turns out, the Oso Tommy Award was for the DualShock controller, which was first released for the PlayStation in 1998 in the US, and for the DualShock 2, which came with the PlayStation 2 after its 2000 launch. Still, it's easy to see how people got confused. They all look exactly the same! Huh? And now for something completely different. All right, so in terms of handheld gaming, you got your Nintendo DS and your Game Boy. Right. You got uh, the Sony PlayStation Portable. Yeah. And kind of sort of the iPod, you know, right? Look. Yeah, I guess. Well, soon you'll get a new entrant into the market. Peter Moore says the Zune, you know, that multimedia player from Microsoft that was pretty cool before Apple announced the iPhone? It will play games. Peter Moore, you know, that guy who shoves off all those goofy tattoos at press conferences? He confirmed that the Zune will get its game on within 18 months. Many have suspected that Microsoft was positioning the Zune to be a game player all along, but his words at CES are the first to confirm that it will indeed be a portable game player. The only question that remains is what type of games will it play? Currently, the iPod plays games like Bejeweled and Pac-Man, you know, more for the casual crowd. Yeah, played them badly. <laughs> but if future models of the Zune are souped up, who knows, maybe we'll see Gears of War or Halo with uh, Live Anywhere capability on it. You're just spreading rumors now. Well, it's part of my job. And part of Brendan's job is to update us on the latest news from the GameSpot News Desk. Mr. Sinclair, what have you for us this week? Well, Tim, we've got more numbers. 
The NPD Group on Thursday released its figures for 2006 U.S. retail game sales, and it looks like another record year for the industry. Hardware, software, and accessory sales reached a combined $12.5 billion, a 19% jump over 2005's $10.5 billion. The NPD Group threw out enough stats that could be framed in a hundred different ways to keep the System Wars, Message Board, and Caps Lock in a million exclamation points mode for the entirety of 2007. Just look at the total next-gen console hardware sales. Through the end of the year, we had sold 1.1 million systems in the U.S., while Sony managed to move more than 687,000 PS3s. The Xbox 360 managed to sell 1.1 million systems in December alone. And while the Xbox 360 broke the million system mark for December, even then it was only the third best-selling system of the month, behind a Nintendo product and a Sony product. The Nintendo DS led all systems in December with 1.6 million systems sold, while the PlayStation 2 continued to fly off shelves with 1.4 million units sold. Meanwhile, Nintendo declared that it had the most successful across-the-board holiday performance in U.S. video game history. And Sony said it had its highest first-party sales month in company history, and also defended its CES announcement of 1 million PS3 shipped to North America by pointing out that the NPD doesn't take Canada into account. Like so many other people. The company also touted the staying power of the PS2, noting the system's first place finish among home consoles for the month of December. PS2 games also did well on the charts, with Madden NFL 07 on the PS2 being the best-selling game of the year. That edition alone sold 2.8 million copies, holding off the DS hit New Super Mario Bros., which sold 2 million copies, and Gears of War for the Xbox 360, which finished the year with 1.8 million sold. So who really won? We did. The gamers. Wait. I'm getting a correction. It appears the companies who sell us stuff won. We just got suckered into buying more of it than ever before. Back to you guys. Well met, young Master Sinclair. You're doing Patrick Stewart again. I am most certainly not my good man. Please pardon this brusque brute's rudeness. Farewell for this week, my good people, and a thousand thanks for watching the first Last Road of 2007. For more gaming news, such as talk of a Dead Rising sequel, Jack Thompson trying to make nice with the ESA and ESRB, and my NFL picks, hint, I like the Raiders to beat the Lakers in the finals. Head over to GameSpot.com news. See you in 2008.